We'll start off with the Muncher Hitch. This end of the rope would be the standing part connected to the person or object you're going to be belaying. This hitch works best with a bigger carabiner because you can actually flip uh, the Munter hitch to change the direction uh, you want to lower. Start off with an underhand loop, making the running end go under the standing end, and then making the running end go around the standing end a second time. And then where your thumb is is actually where you're going to want to connect the carabiner. This is an auto lock carabiner. Once you get it on there, you want to make sure that gate is closed and locked. With both ends going the same direction, close to each other, you actually have the most amount of friction. When you separate the running end of the rope towards the 90 degree angle, you'll find there's less friction. This hitch is able to turn in on itself depending on which direction the rope is traveling in. To let rope out, take the standing in and feed it towards the carabiner to take in rope. The hitch simply rotates the opposite direction. The large carabiner actually helps facilitate the hitch to turn. One thing to be careful for is when you're rotating the hitch, there's a chance you can put pressure on the gate and vertically opening it. And that's the Munner hitch. So the next thing we're going to go over is the scaffold knot. This knot is commonly used tied to a rigging point such as the litter bridle ring. You're going to want to take the running end of the rope and wrap it around the standing end twice, forming an X shape, and then passing the tail end through the X. It looks like half of a double fisherman's knot. Before cinching it nice and tight, just make sure that it's dressed properly and that you have that X shape. The higher the load is on the line, the tighter this knot will get. Uh, the more weight, it's gonna cinch down really tight, and this is a really hard knot to untie. The Pressic Hitch. The pressic hitch is considered indispensable to rope rescue as it serves as a bi-directional rope grab. The loops are either pre-sewn or tied with the double fisherman's knot. Here we have a pre-sewn. You want to make sure that the sewn in or the double fisherman's knot is off to one side. The pressic hitch is commonly tied with three wraps. One two, and three. When you pull it snug, make sure the sewn in or the knot is offset to one side and that the wraps are not crisscrossing each other. It's fairly easy to dress and when you pull on it, it should grab the rope nice and tight. And then if you put your fingers at the base and slide it, it should slide pretty fairly easily up and down the rope. Bowling on a coil can be used to secure a stretcher during the absence of a stretcher harness. This knot is also known as the Portuguese bowling. All you do is you start by taking the running end of the rope and wrap it around the front extension of the litter. Outside to inside and follow along the head. 
Make a loop approximately a foot and a half at the end of the stretcher. Take the standing end of the line, forming an underhand loop around the loop you made. Pull a bite of rope through that loop, pass the running end through that bite, and cinch it. Before the knot gets too tight, you can easily adjust it depending on what angle you want. Once you adjust it properly, you can cinch it nice and tight. It's also recommended to tie a safety knot after tying the bowline to prevent the knot from rolling in on itself.